I'd like to talk about the rules of programming in the Herco control as well as get you familiar with the tab navigation that we use in each of the blocks of the program. But first of all, I want to talk about the rules of programming. One thing that you need to be clear and understand very well is the use of the rapid start point, indicated here on this graphic with the little red plus sign. This is not only the location that the tool is going to rapid to at the beginning of every block, but it's also where the tool is going to rapid to at the end of each particular profile. For example, we're going to rapid to that position. It's then going to move down into the cutting position to cut the profile, this first roughing pass and so forth. And then at the very end, it's going to rapid back to that location. So I would not want to position that uh, point somewhere below the smallest diameter on the part because it's then going to rapid back through the part to get there. So you always want to make sure that that's to a clear, cleared location that from the last point in your profile it can rapid to without having any kind of interference with the part. The next rule is your starting point and ending point must be perpendicular. Notice the little black dotted line. That goes from the starting point of my profile, which is in the front of the part, and it then goes up into the diameter of the last pull-off area of my profile, all the way in the back to the left there. Those two points, the intersection between the two, where those two dotted lines meet, that's how the control knows where material is and how it knows where to start roughing. That is also what determines the stock size as far as the control is concerned, where, what size the stock is, and again, how it, so it knows how to begin roughing. I told you I wanted to talk about the, pro, the tab navigation. All of the profile blocks, all of the holes blocks, cutoff blocks, so forth, everything will have these tabs. They have different purposes in each block, but each one of them will have one. Most commonly, you're going to see a process tab, which is shown here on the screen. That's what tool number, how fast are we going, what's the depth of cut, uh, your approaches, retract angles, things like that. Then you will most always have a ge uh, geometry tab for every block. And that's the actual geometry where you begin to cut the profile. You, you describe what the, the groove looks like, um, what, is the, what are the parameters for the hole size that you're cutting so forth. So you'll be seeing this tab navigation quite frequently in programming the Herco control.